Hi, this is TSG Multimedia's Dan Cordopassi, and today I'm reviewing an HO scale River Rossi S100 type 060T steam locomotive. This locomotive is decorated as Granite Rock Number no. 10. We photographed the real Granite Rock Number no. 10 during Steamfest 2010 and Steamfest 2007. Since I have photographs of the real engine, I was able to compare the model to it, and overall it's pretty close. Looking at the water tanks, uh, the boiler details, and the, the drivers, and most of that stuff seems to be pretty accurate. Uh, the one inaccuracy I found is the cab. Um, it's the wrong style cab for Granite Rock Number no. 10, and also it has the wrong style of fuel bunker. Granite Rock Number no. 10 is an oil burner, and this has a coal bunker on it. So um, that part isn't correct, but otherwise the engine looks pretty close. This particular body style may be correct for other S100 type locomotives. The model has nice end detail with things like the uncoupling lever, air pump and piping, freestanding grab iron on the boiler face, and the number plate. The couplers are plastic knuckle couplers and they match the KD coupler height gauge. Now to make the light work, I'll have to run the engine because this is a DC engine. So just hold it. And it uses an internally mounted LED with some kind of light pipe to get the light into the casting and I don't really like the squareness of it. The top of the boiler is nicely detailed as well. It even has a bell that moves. Inside the cab, there's actually a false floor. You can probably see the reflection of it, but the, the floor is just below the cab windows. So if you wanted to put figures in there, you'd, you'd have to cut them or something because they can't go all the way uh, down to where the floor would be in the real engine. That's a concession to the fact that the mechanism intrudes in here. The model is equipped with a European-style six-pin plug on the inside for those wishing to add DCC. The model runs pretty smoothly, although there is a little bit of gear noise. The model picks up power from all six wheels, and it has nice brake rigging detail on the underside. One major problem that I found with this locomotive is that the drivers are all too narrow in gauge. This will cause it to bump when going over turnouts and some other track work. If you'd like to see how to fix this issue, please look for our March 1st, 2015 video podcast on YouTube. Overall, I think it's a pretty good little model. However, um, I'm going to take off a spike for the cab being wrong. With so many models these days coming out with prototype-specific details, I've kind of come to expect that. Now, the gauge issue is another thing entirely. And that's because this is something that's really difficult to fix. And frankly, um, unless you're uh, an experienced modeler, it's probably not something you even want to try to fix yourself. That's a pretty major issue. And uh, for that, I'm going to have to take off three spikes. So my final verdict on this one is 6 out of 10 spikes.